So last class we started with uh, transportation problem and then uh, we learned that to solve a transportation problem you need to pass two stages. Stage one is about finding a basic feasible solution and stage two is about finding the optimal solution or checking for the optimality. That is what uh, we had seen. And for basic feasible solution, there are three methods. We had only seen the very first method, which is the Northwest corner rule, right? So today we will see with the same numerical problem, how do we do with that least cost method and Vogel's approximation method. So these two things we will see today. So let me just copy the same problem, the least cost method. Now the name itself says uh, that it is least cost method, which means we need to focus in the least cost, which means among all this cost, that is six, eight, four, four, nine, eight, one, two, six, which one is the least? Then we identified that the least cost is one. So we will have to start our first allocation to this particular cell, whichever cell has got the least cost. Means here it is one. That means I should allocate my, I should do my first allocation to this cell. So when then what you do, you compare in the corresponding row, what is the supply quantity available? What is the demand quantity available? Here it is five and six. When you compare, you choose that quantity, whichever is the least. So five or six, the least is five. So you enter five here. So what we did, we first identified what is the least cost among all this, six, eight, four, four, nine, eight, one, two, six, et cetera. And once you identified the least cost, in this case, it was one, then you decided that your first allocation has to be done to that particular cell. Once you come to that cell, what you are doing is you compare what is written in the row, what is written in the column. In row, it is written as five. In column, it is written as six. Or rather in the row, whatever is there, it is actually the supply quantity. In column, whatever is there, it is actually the demand quantity. Then you compare these two numbers, five and six, whichever is least, you are entering that in that particular cell. That is what is your first allocation. Now you may notice this five is fully entered here. That means no more entry is possible here. No more entry is possible here. Cut this. Now, after doing that, since this five is already done, which is we have to consider is out of this six. This five is considered as out of this six. That means this six has to be reduced. This six has to be reduced to six minus five. So it will become one, right? So in the remaining cells, remaining cells means the first two rows. In the remaining cells, which is the least? Six, eight, four, four, nine, eight. Of course, the least is four. Now the question is whether we should choose this four or this four or this cell or this cell. Theoretically speaking, you can choose any of the cells. You can choose this also. You can choose this also. You call that as arbitrarily choosing. Arbitrarily choose any one. You say that theoretically. But we will go one step ahead. We will choose something logically. Remember, when you say least cost, it is actually some transporter is charging you a lesser charge. I mean, lesser cost, right? So definitely among all this six, some transport is charging six per unit. Some transporter is charging eight per unit. Some is charging nine. Some is charging eight. Compared to this six, eight, nine, eight, of course, four is the least compared to all these things, right? So what we will be interested in, whom, when four is the least, let me give maximum quantity to that particular transporter. That is what our intention will be. So logically what we will do is, we will see whether should I allocate here or should I allocate here? That is what our question is. Now, when you want to know that, 
Then you go next step. Suppose if I choose this four, how much is the quantity will be allocated? Suppose if I choose this four, how much quantity will be allocated? That is our question. Suppose if I choose this four, how much quantity will be allocated? Then after checking both the quantities, how much quantity, you choose that cell, whichever cell you can allocate more quantity. What do I mean by that? First, let me check for this four. If I choose this cell, then I will compare 14 and 15 because that is the number which is corresponding to the row, corresponding to the column, 14 and 15, which is the least, 14 is the least. That means if I choose this four, I will be able to allocate 14 units, right? Just keep it in mind, if I choose this four, I will be able to allocate 14 units. Means that particular transporter, I can give 14 units of load. That is what the meaning is. Now, coming to this four, if I choose this four, then the numbers to be compared are one, which is there in the column, and 12, which is there in the row. Then you have to choose the least, least here it is one that means it is better first to choose this four rather than this four because if i choose this four i will be able this four only and fill it up with 14. now remember i allocate this 14 fully here that means i can't do any allocation here i can't do any allocation here so first two cells you put across and cut this because that 14 is fully utilized. Now, already 14 is done in this column. That means this 15 has to be reduced from 15 to 15 minus 14. That means it will become one, right? So now what is left? Only the middle row is left. Now in the middle row, which is the least cost? Four is the least cost, four, nine, eight. The least cost is four. Only one four, not like earlier there were, there were two fours, now only one four. So you have to allocate to this cell only. Now when you come to this cell, you will compare what is written here, what is written here. Here it is written as one, here it is written as 12. You will choose the least quantity, which is one. Since one is fully done, close this. Since one is done, this 12 has to be changed from 12 to 12 minus 1, 12 minus 1, which is 11. So this 12 will be reduced to 11. Now what is left? Only these two cells. Among these two cells, which is the least cost? 8 is the least cost. So I will have to allocate to this particular cell. When I come to this cell, I will look into the numbers. One is this side, it is 1. This side, it is 11. I will have to choose the least. Least is 1. So allocate one there so cut this since one is already allocated this 11 has to be reduced to 11 minus 1 so it is 10 now only one cell is left when you come to the last cell you need to check what is the demand quantity left what is the supply quantity left both has to be same yes it is same 10 and 10 so allocate 10 over there cut this cut this this is least cost method. Once you have done the allocations, the only thing to check for you, whether it is a BFS or not, is what? Only you have to check what is M plus N minus one. Here there are M means rows, number of rows, number of rows is three. N means number of columns is three, so minus one. So you need to get five allocations. Do we have five allocations? Just count yes, the allocations, 14, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. It is 5 allocations. So I can conclude the above is a basic feasible solution. Once I arrived something as a basic feasible solution, I can calculate the total cost, TC. TC is total cost. How do I calculate? Wherever cross are there, Actually, there is no allocation, means it is zero. No need to consider that because you are going to multiply zero into six, zero into eight. Need not be done because you are anyway multiplying by zero. So there is no cost involved in that. Whereas here, it is four into 14 plus four, that is next one. I'm talking about this. Four into one plus the next one, nine into 10. 
plus eight so into one. one. Then one. Can you explain once again this T? Which one? TC. Total cost. Okay. So TC is nothing but total cost. How do we calculate total cost? Go there. It is actually six into zero. You need not write because it is zero. You are going to add only zero. That is why I didn't write six into zero. Next one is eight into zero. That also is zero, so I didn't write that. Next one, four into fourteen. That I wrote. Then four into one. I wrote nine into ten. I wrote eight into one. I wrote one into five. I wrote two into zero. I didn't write because it is zero. Six into zero. I didn't write because it is zero. Is it clear now? Sir, not clear. How four we took, sir? Four is fifty. One hundred and fifty plus eight, one fifty-eight. One fifty-eight plus five, one sixty. One sixty-three. Yes. Now, if you look into the previous cost, have we calculated? No, we didn't calculate. Let us calculate that for the previous. Uh, that is northwest corner. Okay, we will calculate the cost. So let me write somewhere here only. Total cost for this is six into six plus eight into eight. Plus nine into two, plus eight into ten, plus six into five. Friends, okay. So let me write a note. In general, in general, N W C R means northwest corner rule will give. higher cost higher cost than least cost method higher cost than least cost method this is not always huh? in general sometimes it may be reverse also but in general any problem you try to do using northwest what is the cost using least cost what is the cost in general you will get a lesser cost in least cost method will have a higher cost Then LCM. Question is why? The reason is northwest corner rule do not have any focus on the cost. Any focus on the cost while doing while doing allocations while doing allocations. whereas in least cost method we always allocate we always allocate to those cells to those cells having least cost having cells having least cost 